back to Wildwood Cottage and welcome back to a rainy, grizzly Wales. It's living up to its name that it always rains in Wales at the moment. It's been raining since Friday really. We've had a little bit of sunshine in between but not an awful lot. But uh, I thought it was a good chance today to get some uh, work done. Even though it's raining, for me it's always a good opportunity because uh, it just means I can get things done because it means I get stuck in better when it's raining. But uh, what I thought I'd do today in this video was uh, talk to you about mulching and uh, mulching your soil and mulching your pots. Um, I've been thinking of all sorts of different ways in which I can cover my soil because I don't want to have to weed all the time and I don't want to have to spend all day watering in the winter, in the summer because last summer I ended up standing there all day really over the, the amount of hours I did over a couple of days it must have taken me about 12 hours to water the whole garden and uh, that was because we had exceptionally high temperatures but uh, it got up to about 40 degrees in the garden and uh, I don't want to have to do that again so yeah I don't want to have to do that again so what I've thought is I'm trying to look for all different sorts of ways in which I can cover the soil. I don't want to attract rats, I don't want to attract all sorts of mice and things to live in the uh, mulch. So I've got to think of ways in which I can mulch the soil but not too deeply so things start living in it. But uh, where I am in my garden I'm on a ribbon of slate and when it rains it just soaks all the way through and uh, runs off and doesn't go anywhere and I've got hardly any soil. So my thinking is that if I mulch all the borders with as much as I can find, I'll then start to break down, uh, well, the soil will start to break down and it'll make some lovely soil on top. The leaves will break down and make some lovely soil. So that's my thinking, that's my plan. So what I've decided is out the front, there's a big pile of leaves. So I'm gonna go and show you them. I also, the other day, there were some people cutting some trees out the front for the neighbour and uh, I accosted them and said, Oi, you, can I have your chip bark? Instead of you chucking it over that wall, can I have it? So, uh, yeah, I didn't say it in quite that way. I was more polite. I asked him very, very nicely. And, uh, yeah, he gave me all the bark that was coming off from all the chippings that they were doing. And uh, I got myself some free mulch. So I'm going to show you that. And uh, yeah, the other things you can use on your garden like I'm using is hay out of the chicken bedding. So if you've got rabbits or you've got chickens, you can use that. I wouldn't use cat litter because you don't want the cat poo on the garden. You could use the wood shavings out the cat litter if you're using that wooden stuff. Um, you could take the poo out and put that in the waste recycling and use the actual wood bits itself. You could use that on your garden because um, that will rot down. You just want anything that's done to decompose, you're gonna, uh, that's going to compost and rot down and make soil. So when I mow the grass, I'm going to also put the uh, grass clippings on the garden. I give it to the chickens because I don't weed kill any of my grass. And uh, yeah, I'm going to give all that to the chickens. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out the front and have a look at the leaves. Um, I'm going to get myself a load of leaves, go and put them on the garden. And then what I'm hoping is it's going to break down the surface of the soil. Um, and then instead of me having to dig and work, do all the hard work trying to get the grass out, I'm hoping that it will just break down the surface of the soil enough uh, once it starts composting that I'll be able to get all the grass out um, without too much effort. Because I've got enough turf now, I don't want to dig up any more turf. And there's where the bed, I widened one of the beds the other day, there is bits of grass growing. So I'm hoping that by putting all the leaves on and the chippings on, that uh, it'll help me to be able to get that out a bit more easily. So that's my plan. So we'll go out the front and we'll go and have a look at the leaves. We'll go and have a look at the bark. We'll fill the wheelbarrow up and uh, we'll go and pop it on the bed. And we'll let that nature do its thing because all the worms will all come up to the surface. They'll take everything down into the soil and uh, it'll turn it into nice, lovely compost and topsoil so I can plant all my flowers and have a lovely garden. So I'll just get my gloves, get my wheelbarrow, get my tripod and uh, we'll go and get ourselves some leaves and some bark. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so this is all the bark I got off the tree man the other day when he was cutting the um, trees down next door. And uh, this is the lovely bark that he's given me, so we'll just have a look. 
it's all nicely chipped and uh, there's some lovely bark in there thankfully there's no laurel leaves in there but uh, I think they were ash I'm not sure either ash or silver birch I've got another little bit here but it does have laurel leaves in it so I'm a bit reluctant to use that on the garden because laurel has a tendency to root itself so I'm a bit reluctant to use that but uh, other than that this bark here is perfect it's absolutely perfect so I'm going to pop this in my rose walk and along the top part of the garden under the trees so that that won't rot down as fast uh, that's my thinking anyway so this is the leaves that I'm going to harvest um, you go roughly from here all the way down the path all the way down to the field gate down there now that is an awful lot of leaves so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick all them up pop them in my wheelbarrow and uh, pop them on the borders that I've got cleared ready for the summer um, I still do have plants to go in but it means that I can get the soil ready, get it wet, stop it drying out, get it all nice and pliable, friable so I can plant stuff in it and uh, the garden will start getting fertilised while I'm getting ready with my flowers because they're not ready to go in yet, they're not going in for a couple of months so I can always move the leaves out the way to be able to put plants in the hole but uh, as you can see there's an awful lot of leaves so yeah that's what I'm going to do now it's just starting to rain again now but we'll see what we can get done right so all I'm going to do is pick the leaves up and plonk them in the wheelbarrow so as you can see it's already started rotting down and it's got bits of soil in it and it's perfect it's been here for ages and it's just rotting next to the wall so that's why I'm taking it from my garden. So we're going to fill the barrow up. It's very wet, but it's had bits of moss in it, bits of lichen, and it's quite deep. It's lovely soil. Oh. My back's a bit sore again today. But, uh, Jobs need doing, can't we? I missed the season last year because of my back. So, can't be having that again this year. Do have my rubber gloves on, but they're wet from the other night. lovely soil it's going to be great for the garden no weeds either which is even better As you can see it's lovely compost and that's the space we've cleared along there. So I've done about a metre so I'm going to carry on down there but let's go and take this back into the garden and then we'll finish off and have a chat. Also round here as well I've got this path here and around that path there Right, so as you can see, along there, right along there, there's grass. And this is the patch I dug out to get the turf. Now, this turf in here, I don't want to dig it um, if I can help it. So what I'm thinking is, if I just throw the leaves over the top for the time being, um, it'll keep the moisture in. Over time, in the next few weeks, it'll break down the soil 
and then I can get in with the little fork, move the leaves back and get in to get those bits of grass out and those bits of grass there and sort out along there. But what I want to do is just get the bark on the leaves on the soil just really to just mulch the soil so we can save the rain water that we're getting at the moment because we're getting a lot of rain. So that's my thinking. So I'm just going to put you on the tripod and I'll show you what I'm doing. Just starting to rain again. So there's a few rocks. I'm just going to move them. Right, those bricks are to go up to the barn when I go and do the barn, but I'm not doing that at the moment, but I will take them up there. So this is my wheelbarrow. So all I'm going to do is tip it up, throw it on. Any big sticks, I'm just going to take them out. one wheelbarrow done. And I'll just show you the compost. You see it's nice rich organic matter, no pesticides and anything that may have been used will have been washed away because it would have been over six months ago so. So yeah there's my leaves. There you go, can you see how rich that is? Isn't it lovely? Yeah I'll just tip, tip, put you down there and let you have a look. Look at all that, isn't that lovely and rich? So it's not going to take long to break down at all, which is what I want. And I'm hoping that these bits of grass, once they're covered, will start breaking down under the leaves as well. So that's my plan. So we'll have to see. I've got the whole garden to do. And uh, yeah, there is plenty of leaves, but I'm going to get myself a shovel or a fork and uh, see if I can do it quicker than with by hand, because my gloves are just going to get soaked. But uh, yeah, have you seen my spire here behind me? Look at that. Nice bit of colour for spring. Bit like my scarf. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to encourage you to have a look around outside the box, have a think about how you can get things for free. I mean, it's amazing. People just dump the leaves or just don't bother with them. And they're a rich resource of compost for the garden, so if you can get your hands on them, do. Go have a look around your park, uh, go around your local park in the autumn and bag some up. Uh, go down the country lanes, bag them up and bung them in the car. Um, when farmers are chopping down trees, they often leave the bark, the council leave the bark at the side of the road. You can go down with some buckets or some bags uh, where it's safe. You can often get yourself some lovely uh, chip bark to put on your, on your soil. Um, and if you leave it to rot down in a pile, you can obviously get it to make compost that you can use elsewhere in the garden. But because I need so much soil in my garden, it just seems more logical for me to put all the leaves straight on top of the soil, let them break down on the soil where they're going to be. And it saves me having to move it twice. A lot of it is broken down already, so it's not going to take long for it to rot. And uh, it also means that the moisture is kept in when it rains like it is today and uh, it'll keep my soil nice and damp, nice and wet and then it means I don't have to water the garden and I don't want to have to do any more in the garden than I have to I don't want to have to use lots of water um, and I also don't want to have to spend the time watering the plants and making them reliant on me I want my plants to be reliant on themselves and not have to worry about me coming out and looking after them and I think uh, my motto has always been don't pamper them don't pamper your plants, let them be self-sufficient, let them go and find the water um, and let them be strong rooted because they've had to search for water. If you water your plants, in a sense you're mollycoddling them and uh, you're making weaker plants. And I've always found for me in my garden and the plants I've always had that a bit of neglect goes a long way really and uh, you end up with stronger plants. You may end up with a few casualties in the heat of the summer 
um, when you can't get out some water. But other than that, I think your plants thank you for it when uh, you give them a bit of neglect because they have to go looking for water, they produce stronger roots, they produce deeper roots because they've had to go looking for that underground water and you'll find that you'll get much better plants. So I do feed them, I feed them once a year when they need it, I don't feed them all the time. Uh, a lot of the plants in this garden love acidic soil and their soil is quite acid but uh, because I want to plant other types of plants I am putting wood ash down to try and alkaline the soil a bit because it's very acidic um, and then I can grow different plants. Um, the elderly gentleman just used to grow camellias, spirea, he's got a magnolia, he's got a wisteria and he's got rhododendrons and that was really all he had in here. So for me to grow flowers I need to alter the pH so I'm putting wood ash down as well. But uh, yeah, so I've already done this bed with wood ash, so now I can put the leaves on the top and it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I hope that's been useful to you. Think outside the box, see what you can put on your soil for free. Um, you can put bits of shredded paper in your compost bin and that will drop down into making lovely compost for you. As I say, rabbit bedding, chicken bedding, if you've got hamsters, gerbils, put it all on the garden, it'll rot down. Um, if you haven't got plants that are reliant on surface nutrition, it won't matter. Things like rhubarb and stuff like that, fruit bushes, they're going to put down deep roots so it's not going to starve them of nutrients. Um, and yeah, save yourself a lot of effort so you can sit in the garden and enjoy it rather than having to run around molly coddling your plants. That's my tip of the day. So yeah, I'm going to go and get on with wheeling this, uh, these leaves round and I'm going to go and get in out of the rain. So I'll see you soon. If you have enjoyed my video, please do like and subscribe. Please do hit that notification bell and it will inform you when I upload new videos. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.